Hey beautiful, high sensitive, ambitious entrepreneurs from all over the world. Here is Ranjana again from the Netherlands with a new video. And I'm going to help you to go from overwhelm, stuckness and struggling with money to inner peace and calmness and financial freedom. Have you ever wondered why despite of all your hard work and ambition, you're still feeling stuck or overwhelmed and your life isn't just getting better. You've put in all the hard work, your effort, your commitment, your ambition, but somehow you're still feeling stuck. Well, if this sounds like you, stick around because today we're diving deep into some seven powerful insights I'm going to share with you that could be the keys to finally seeing the breakthroughs that you are looking for. And by the end of this video, you have gained clarity on why you may be feeling like this and learn practical steps to overcome those hidden blocks. And this is really more about than just concepts because these are real tools that can help you transform your path. And creating meaningful success on your own terms and, you know, take the control back over your life. And you'll walk away with insights that really uh, resonate with your inner strength, your qualities and your talents as a highly sensitive, ambitious entrepreneur. And maybe you are wondering, so why would Ranshina be the person to tell me that? Well, I know how it feels because I've been there too. I spent years feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and just feeling like actually I was constantly living on the edge, figuring things out, how to get my life better. And what the reason was that my life was just not getting better, even if I put so much um, time, ambition, commitment, and action steps in. And I was really frustrated that I put a lot of work in, but my efforts didn't pay off. But once I discovered the specific strategies and shifts I'm about to share with you, everything changed. And these are not just concepts, because, you know, concepts are great, but what do we do with them? Uh, but these are actually real tools that have helped me transform my journey. And they can do the same for you. So before we dive into the seven points I would like to share with you, um, if you're already feeling intrigued or it resonates with you, then drop a comment below and when you put a smile in it, <laughs> and uh, that let me know that, that you are ready to, uh, to keep moving forward. So I would suggest grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, uh, pick, take a pen and paper because maybe you want to make some notes and then I'm going to share with you the seven powerful insights that can transform your life. And the first insight I'd like to share with you is awareness about your inner dialogue. Because as you know, our inner dialogue is so powerful. It means it's, it shapes our, actually it shapes our life, but it shapes how we feel and what we believe is possible. And it changes how we see things, how we experience things, what things mean to us, what kind of meaning we give it. And as highly sensitive people, we tend to have a more critical voice, inner voice than others. And it could be that the reason of that is that there is a part in us that really wants to be the same as other people. And we notice on a daily basis that this is not the case at all. And that might be one of the reasons that our inner voice is more critical than others have. And this matters because this voice, uh, what is constantly there, 
that can constantly take care of doubting ourselves, judging ourselves. And well, you notice, or you know, that if you have constantly a doubting or critical voice inside of you, and that is, you are listening to it, it really can hold us back from the life that we, well, that we really want. It also can take our self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence away. So start by observing those thoughts without judgment. And ask yourself whenever a thought is coming up, is this thought helping me or is it hindering me? That's a very, I have noticed a very powerful step to start with. Because this simple awareness can really change your, you know, your way of how you how you are in the world and changing the meaning you give to things. So the second uh, step I would like uh, to share with you is setting boundaries with distractions. Because as you know, we live in a world full of distractions. We have, of course, uh, constantly uh, our cell phone, smartphone uh, with us. And, um, and as sensitive people, we pick up on everything. I mean, we feel it all, <laughs> right? We feel it all. So that's why creating boundaries around what and who we give our attention to, attention to really um, can change our life. And it is really essential because if we don't, our energy is everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure you know that, okay? So it goes, you know, it goes in every direction and, and leaving us drained out and really have to take care for, for ourselves for maybe one or two hours and sometimes even days. Okay, so we, we really have to remember that our time is our energy, our time, but especially our energy is really precious. So setting boundaries allows you to protect it so you can invest it in what truly matters to you and just a simple tool i can give you that is really helping me that you put a timer and you you know you have to do something uh, a task and you do that for 45 minutes or 30 minutes but you can also do five 45 minutes it depends on you what you like and then you have a 15 minute break and it's really important that you Get out of your own workplace. I mean, you go to, to, to your kitchen, you make a cup of coffee, or you go in to the balcony and just look around, or you go into your garden. But really go away from your workplace, because then you really have a break. Then your mind can just relax, and then you can better focus again. That is, I For me, this was a really important step to do. So the third point I would like to share with you is Focusing on the progress, focusing on progress over perfectionism. Yep, <laughs> I, I know that you recognize that, okay? Because as ambitious uh, and also high sensitive entrepreneurs, it's easy to get caught up in perfectionism. And then we are preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing. But, you know... When we never would take action because it have to be it has to be perfect, uh, well, we are not going forward at all. So we we ha really have to learn that we take action even if it's imperfect, but it is really about taking action because that moves us forward instead of preparing all the time. And that matters because taking imperfect action is often the path to big breakthroughs. So give yourself permission to be a work in progress and celebrate each step no matter how big or how small it is. And if these points are resonating with you and you are ready to go even deeper with this, how to, you know, how to put these insights really in a practical way to move your, uh, you move your life around, um, then please click the link in the video description to, to find more about it. Um, maybe it resonate, resonates with you and maybe it doesn't resonate with you because I don't know you, of course, but um, okay. 
we go to point four. And point four is cultivating a strong why. And well, actually for me, this was one of the most important steps. Because having a strong, clear reason why you are doing all these things, why you are taking action, why you why you have your business, why you are helping clients, customers, you know, even when things get tough, it's really important that you know your why. What is your why? And that's a compelling why that really fuels our motivation to get us out in the uh, of the in uh, out of the bed in the morning and really um fuels our motivation to get things done um, instead of struggling with micro steps figuring it out all the time so um it's really giving us purpose yeah, your why is giving us purpose to get on going. So find your why. And maybe you, 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 you're you going to write about it and really um, have, have that very clear for yourself. What is your why? And what is also helping uh, me is that you have just these little sticky notes. You put your why on and you see it everywhere. So if you ever feel stuck, or you feel frustrated, you have a look at your why, and then you know instantly, oh yeah, that was the reason that I'm doing this. So that really makes can make a, a big difference. Okay, so the fifth point, the fifth uh, insight uh, I have uh, gained, is aligning with authentic goals. Because for us, as highly sensitive, ambitious entrepreneurs, authenticity is actually, well, one of the most important values that we have, right? So we, but sometimes we chase, we are hunting uh, goals that are not really ours because, um, well, um, maybe you are chasing the goals of your mom and dad. Maybe you are, cho you are chasing goals that uh, society wants you to have. So it's really, but it also has to do with your why, uh, what I shared already. So why do you want this? What is your why? But also, what is your authenticity? Because I believe strongly we, we are all born with unique strengths and talents and qualities that, can, that we can bring out in the world. And these are authentic. So it's really, it's actually a little bit uh, connecting with the very first step I told you about, about your awareness, about inner your inner dialogue. So what is really your authenticity and how you can bring that uh, in the world? Because aligning with goals that feel true to us helps us feel fulfilled and keeps us motivated even on difficult days. Right? Okay, we're going to uh, point uh, six. The six, six insights. <laughs> Developing resilience through self-compassion. Okay, well, I shared that already in another video about self-love and how important that is, especially for us as high sensitive persons. Because resilience isn't about being tough and powerful. It's about being kind to yourself. And especially during setbacks. And this matters because if we, if we are too hard on ourselves, we not only burn out quickly, but we also draw, us, draw ourselves back and we don't do anything anymore. Um, and then, you know then we cannot bring our unique talents, qualities and, and strength in the world. And that is really a pity, not only for us, but also for, for humankind, right? So practicing self-compassion helps us bounce back and move forward with a positive mindset. And really remember that self-compassion and self-love is a superpower. If we feel that more often, this totally can change our life because we are 
finally relaxed. And when we are relaxed and we're having self-love, then, and we know our why, I mean, you can feel the power behind that, right? Okay, so that's really important. And then we have point seven. That's the last point I want to share with you. And that is celebrating small wins regularly. And I just love to celebrate. I am really about, and that's why I actually I'm saying all the time to a lot of people, when they're, then when they're telling me something that they are really happy about. I say, celebrate it, celebrate it, because this celebrating these little ones, wins, or big wins, but it's sometimes it's very subtle and that you have to be aware of. But if you celebrate those small wins, oh my goodness, that is anchoring such a lot of anchoring in your system and then, you know, whenever you have a new win coming up, it's adding to the previous win. And you start to feel more self-confidence and more self-love and more relaxed. And that is so important, especially for us, because we get easily overwhelmed. And, well, you know what I'm talking about. So it's really about building momentum and confidence and if we have more confidence more self-esteem more self-worth the sky is the limit we can do anything we want to have that we want to you know to to we want anything is possible for our lives for us how we what what how we want to make a difference in the world so it's really helping us staying motivated with a positive mindset and just uh, live a life full of purpose, authenticity, a positive mindset and happiness and bliss and yoohoo! <laughs> like that, okay. Okay, so if these insights um, have sparked something in you and you are ready to embrace a new path, take the next step. Grab the link in my video description and to explore a program that is uh, specifically designed for you as highly sensitive, ambitious entrepreneurs and really take all these insights I shared with you to make that very practical and leave all the stuckness and the overwhelm and the struggle with money, leave that behind you and just Find your inner peace and calmness and financial freedom while you are constantly surrounded with like-minded people who are supporting you in every step of your journey. So I really uh, hope you, uh, you, uh, you, you, you discover this for yourself if it's resonating with you, this, uh, this program. And if it resonates with you, totally great. If it's not resonating with you, also totally great, okay? Because this is about authenticity and feeling what is really resonating with your heart, with your being, with your soul. So I leave you with that. I hope it was very, uh, you, you, have, you have gained clarity on, on all those seven insights. And the last two things I'd like to say is you can change your life. You can be free. Okay, I hope you have a very wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.